Hi, in this video, we'll walk you through how to get started with tabs. You can use tabs to break up sections, show step-by-step -step processes, compare options, and much more. In Content Formatting Toolkit, there are two tab macros you'll use, Tab Group and Tab Pane. First, you create a group to hold your tabs, and then you add individual panes for each tab. Let's dive in. To begin, navigate to your Confluence page. In our example, we have an onboarding checklist with multiple sections that are better grouped within tabs. Hit Edit. Type slash tab group. Now, you'll see an option to choose between horizontal or vertical tabs. Since we don't have a lot of sections we will opt for horizontal. Next, customize the color and style of your tabs and containers. You can keep them in default style or go with outlined or underlined for more definition. Hit save to create the group. Now that you have your tab group, it's time to add content with tab panes. Place your cursor inside the tab group and type slash tab pane. Add a title for your tab and hit save. Now you can add your content for this tab. Repeat these steps to add more tab panes as needed. Once everything's set, hit update to publish your page. And that's it. You've set up tabs to keep your Confluence content organized and easy to navigate. The tabs macros are available in our content formatting toolkit for Confluence Cloud. To learn more, check out our documentation and detailed blog posts. And if you'd like to see it in action, give our app a try.